years back, through months and months of tracking and questioning, which often leads in circles, a man had finally gotten a bearing on where his quarry might be. It led him to Game of Caravan, in a den populated by less than desirable sorts. Some were thieves, some murderers, some slavers, some were junkies, some were all of these things. Everyone who entered that place knew they might not walk out again, including this man. He stayed for days in that debauched place until he was able to strike up a game with a group of harriers that matched the description he'd been given. The man won over and over again. Quickly, tempers began to rise. One accused the man of cheating. In response, he offered the return of all his winnings to them, if they would tell him what they knew of Ben Eldridge. Upon hearing that name, a brawl began. The man dodged and darted quickly, incapacitating each of the players and whomever else joined the fray. Most severely, a murderer known as the Scorpion for his preferred method of execution. Once the violence ceased, the man turned to one of the injured and dropped a jack from his sleeve onto the floor. He then dragged him out, making it very clear that he would have his answers. Fever broke. Well done, you beat the venom. Well, consolation prize at least. Uh. Well, now that that's out of your system, I have a question for you. Where the hell did you get this? From my father. When my mother died. Family heirloom. And how the hell is that possible? James Eldridge. I'd say it's nice to meet you, but you're such an asshole. So, Clem remarried. Never. She died in her bed clutching that ring, so I'm told. But your last name is Eldridge. Great, 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 great grandson, give or take. I had a kid. Benjamin Jr. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I... thought you knew. Take that. Get some rest. Oh, come on! What's the matter? My pit boy's busted. The Geiger counter's not working. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Don't waste it! What are you... Oh. <laughs> All right, I guess it was just a false alarm. Okay, thank you. <laughs> This is what he goes after. There's no residual radiation. He'll bring Scar here for the ritual. My goddamn prophecy. Fertile soil makes for the perfect mate. Perfect mate makes the perfect son. And the fates of all are sealed when two become one by the burning sun of the twelfth month of the twelfth year, blah, blah, blah. Know all it takes for a prophecy? Some asshole to say something crazy a long time ago. Other assholes to believe it. It doesn't matter. If Leon believes, he'll come here and he'll kill us all. Well, we leave. Destroy the locker. I can rig it to blow on an hour's notice. But that's such a waste. What are you going to do every time Leon comes into town? You're just going to move out? Why not use it? Create the ammunition. We only have so many rifles, Twig. Not many of them at all. And I've seen the damage done by always wanting the bigger guy. I hate that phrase. It, it, it's not the size that matters. It's, it's how you use it. No doubt you believe that. 
We don't have the tech to make the locker work. There's gotta be something I can do. Maybe he should talk to the scholar. The who? Anything happens, it's on you. What about this? We're not stupid. May we have some privacy? There are six men outside. I would expect nothing less. You ready? Yeah. You're not what I expected, ma'am. Really? What were you expecting? Leon's been after you for so long. You have a reputation. I thought you would be more... Perfect? Hardened? Savage? What makes you think I'm not? What's your name? Bonnie, ma'am. Don't call me that. You can just call me Scar. How long have you been, um... Leon's slave? Yeah. Long enough to know that you are special to him. How'd you get here? When he lost you, he tore through all the towns he could find, taking the sons of families to build his army. My parents had no son, so he took me. I just want to go home. But I don't even know where that is. Um, I'm sorry, I'm not really sure what to say. You don't have to say anything, but you could give the scissors back. of helping. Are you coming? No, just you. Just follow the cave. You... I don't want to follow the cave. Welcome. <laughs> Sorry. If I didn't want it broken, I should have placed it elsewhere. Oh, I'm sorry. My friend Ron said I should come and talk to you because you'd have my answers to the questions I don't know. I don't know what to ask you, I'm sorry. Well, that's just silly. Only you can know why you're here. To save my friends, to help them. Leon's coming, and Ron doesn't want to fight back, and I don't know how to convince him. Ron's past is marred by pain. His future is his to decide. You can't change his mind. You will have to sacrifice to achieve your ends. That's kind of ominous, right? I mean, sacrifice what? I cannot know, but you will. Can you tell me my fate, or the fate of my friends? There's no such thing as fate, Twig. Only possibilities. And there's never a shortage of those. Well, thanks for your time. Let me go on. Is this for me? You remind me of someone I once knew. Remember this. Solutions don't just fall from the sky, usually. Okay, well, thank you, Mr. Scholar. My name is Goris. Well, thanks, Goris. 
My name's Twig. I know. Of course you do. All right. Guard? Something wrong, Scar? I find Bonnie's work to be subpar. I'd like her to leave. Ma'am? Now. Well, shall I call Giselle? No. You can do it. I'll show you. You can just even it out. I'm not a hairdresser. Shall I call Leon and tell him that you didn't do everything in your power to ready me for the wedding? I'll teach you. Thank you, Daniel. So you remember my name? Oh, of course I remember that. I remember quite a bit. I remember you were my guard dog. Always did everything Leon asked. And I remember you standing by and watching and doing nothing. Okay. Which one of you wants to come in here and take this collar off me, huh? Come on, boys. Now's not the time to be shy. What are you doing now? Take this collar off me and let me go. Are you afraid of the prophecy? Just the people insane enough to believe it. Okay. So what? Um, you kill him to escape from me? I've never hurt you. Shall I help you? Slit his throat. If I let you walk out of here right now, you really think I wouldn't just sacrifice another town? I'm gonna sacrifice everything and everybody to have you. Is that not love? Daniel will break in camp. Now. Go. Yes, sir. 